Now let us suppose that we get a new order in which a customer wants a chair that weighs over 200 grams, costs at most $20 and has four legs. Given this specification, what configuration process can use this knowledge to fill in the values of all the variables to satisfy the specification? So the first thing the process might do is to write down all the constraints that are given as part of the input specification. So the mass is greater than 200 grams, the cost is less than $20, and the count of legs is four. Now suppose that the configuration process has an abstract plan which first decides on the value of the cost variable before it decides on other variables. Let us also further suppose that this plan for deciding on the cost evenly distributes the cost between the various components until and unless specified otherwise by the specification. In this case, the cost plan distributes this cost of $20 between the four components and assigns less than five for each one of them. Now we refine and expand the plan. This has two aspects to it, refine and expand. In the expand aspect, we deal with the components instead of the chair as a whole. In the refine aspect, we deal with more detailed variables that were not there in the chair. Consider the component legs, for example. We already know the count, four, from the input specification. We know the cost, no more than $5 from the higher level plan. Now we can design the values of the other two variables, 25 grams and wood, for example. And we can do the same for the other components. As we assign values to the variables of each of these components, we get a complete arrangement of all the components here with values assigned to each of the variables. Given the specific values we assign to the variables of each of the components, we can now compute whether the constraints given in the input specification are satisfied. In this particular example, both the mass and the cost of the chair satisfy the input constraints. Note that the refine and expand step in this particular process might have operated a little differently. It is also possible the refine and expand step might say that let's decide on the material before we decide on any of the other features. Thus, within the scope of this configuration process, different designers may use different plans and different plan refinement and expansion mechanisms. Of course, it is also possible that once we have a candidate solution, the candidate solution may not necessarily satisfy the input constraints, so the cost may turn out to be more than $20, for example. In that case, there are two options. Either we can iterate on the process, lowering the costs, or we can go about changing the specification. 